All right, let's check out some Linux distros. What's up guys, this is Josh back with another video and today I wanted to cover the best Linux distributions in 2023 by popularity. Now in this video, we'll be covering five popular Linux distros based on page hits over the past six months that I pulled from DistroWatch. A lot of these distros I reviewed in the past and they're super awesome and I kind of give them my stamp of approval of Linux distributions for entry level people that are trying to understand the Linux operating system. And I'll be exploring each distribution's background and design to give you a comprehensive overview of what makes them great choices for your computing needs. So let's get to it. Before we move forward, I wanted to give a quick shout out to CIQ, the official partner of Rocky Linux. Rocky Linux is a Linux distribution that is intended to be a downstream complete binary compatible release using the Red Hat Enterprise Linux operating system source code. The project is led by Gregory Kurtzer, who was the founder of the CentOS project. So check out Rocky Linux at CIQ.co. Now, first up, we'll check out Pop OS, which was developed by System76 and has been around since 2017. And if you guys haven't heard of System76, they're an awesome company that sell computers, desktops, servers, laptops, all that built to support or custom built to support the Linux operating system. And Pop! OS has gained a lot of popularity for its focus on productivity and gaming. And it comes with a pre-installed suite of applications and tools for software development, making it a great choice for developers and creators. Now, as far as the design goes, Pop OS has a modern and min minimalist design with a dark theme that's easy on the eyes. And you guys know I like the dark themes, but it features a dock at the bottom of the screen for quick access to frequently used applications. And that's one of the best things I like about Pop OS. It comes by default with that dock. And it kind of reminds me of Mac OS. But Pop OS also includes a tiling window manager that allows users to easily arrange their windows for optimal productivity. So check out the link below in the description. I have a link right to Pop OS so you guys can download it and check it out in a virtual machine or possibly install it on some of your hardware. Now, next up is Manjaro. And Manjaro is an awesome Linux distribution. And the reason I say it's awesome is because it's based on my favorite distribution, which is Arch Linux. Now I won't have Arch on this list because Arch is kind of a intermediate style distribution. I don't tend to recommend it to new users of the Linux operating system because it takes a little bit to get it installed the way you want it. It allows you to customize a whole lot, but Manjaro, is based upon Orange Linux and was released in 2011. It follows that same rolling release model as Orange Linux, which means that users always have access to the latest software updates. And Manjaro is also popular among gamers due to its support for Steam and other gaming platforms. Now, as far as the design goes, Manjaro has a simple and elegant design with a customized interface. It features traditional desktop environments with a taskbar on the bottom of the screen and a menu for accessing applications. Now Manjaro also includes a selection of pre-installed applications, including popular software for productivity and entertainment. So definitely check that one down in the description as well so you can test it out. Now, next up, we have another Ubuntu based Linux distribution called Linux Mint. And it was first released in 2006 and has gained a reputation for being easy to use and stable. And this is why I highly recommend Linux Mint to new users of the Linux operating system. And Linux Mint is known for its focus on user experience and including a variety of user-friendly tools for customization and system management. 
And now as far as the design goes, Linux Mint has a classic and traditional design with a menu at the bottom of the screen for accessing applications. It includes a variety of pre-installed software for productivity and entertainment, as well as a selection of customization options for personalizing the desktop environment, which I think is super dope. Now, next up, we have another Orange-based Linux distribution that I recently did a review on where I covered pretty much everything about the distribution from a surface level. And this is Endeavorous OS. And Endeavor's OS also follows that rolling release model of Orange Linux and has been around since 2016. And one cool thing about Endeavor is its user-friendly installation process and focus on minimal minimalism. And it gained popularity for its user-friendly installation process, which is super dope. And it also focused on minimalism, which I know a lot of people in the Linux community really love, especially when you hear a lot of comments about how certain distributions are bloated. Now, Endeavorous OS is designed to be lightweight and customizable, making it a popular choice for advanced users and developers. Now, as far as the design, Endeavorous OS has a clean and minimalist design with a customizable interface. It features a traditional desktop environment with the taskbar at the bottom of the screen and a menu for accessing applications. Now, Endeavorous OS also includes a selection of pre-installed applications, including popular software for productivity and development, just like a lot of these distributions that I've covered. But I definitely recommend you guys check it out, you know, try it out on some hardware or in a virtual machine. So the link will be down in the description as well. Now, last but not least, we have MX Linux. And MX Linux is a Linux distribution based on Debian and Anti-X that was first released around 2014. It has gained popularity for its focus on stability and ease of use. And MX Linux is known for its user-friendly interface and lightweight design, making it a great choice for older hardware and low spec systems. This is why I recommend MX Linux for recycled computers. And that's why I included it in this list as well. It also has gained popularity over the years uh, because of its ease of use. Now the design of MX Linux has a classical and traditional design with a menu at the bottom on the screen for accessing applications. It includes a variety of pre-installed software for productivity and entertainment as well. And one cool thing about it, you also have a lot of customization options so you can personalize this distribution to your needs. So go on and check out MX Linux. Like I said, all the links will be down in the description of the video. So that's all for the video on my best Linux distros for 2023 by popularity. And I hope that this overview has given you a better understanding of each of these five popular Linux distributions and that it will help you make an informed decision when choosing the right distro for your computing needs. Whether you're a developer, gamer, or just looking for a stable and user-friendly Linux experience, there's a distribution out there that's perfect for you. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Please like, share, and subscribe for more content like this in the future. And as I always say, keep it techie.